Good afternoon, I'm Jess De Los Santos. This is One News Now. Ambo has now weakened into a severe tropical storm. As of 1 p.m. today, the tropical cyclone was spotted in the vicinity of Agdangan, Quezon. It's now packing winds between 110 and 150 kilometers per hour. Ambo has picked up speed as it continues to move northwest and is expected to bring moderate to heavy rain over parts of Luzon. Areas under tropical cyclone wind signals are flashed on your screens. With hygiene supplies and protective gear getting scars, hospitals around the country are grateful whenever private companies lend a hand. The Dr. Jose Fabella Memorial Hospital recently received PPEs, face masks, hygiene kits, as well as soap from the MVP group of companies. The group also donated two aerosol boxes that can be used for swab testing. Meron naman po kami, kanya lang dahil sa dami nga po na talaga na, ku, nagkukulang pa din po. No? Marami pa rin marami, po sa Marami, marami pong nagdo-donate sa Pabella Hospital. Maraming maraming po po sa inyong lahat na nagdo-donate, mga donors. Here are some of the day's biggest stories. Ilocos Norte has recorded no new COVID-19 cases in more than a month. The first two cases who were confirmed last March 31st had both recovered on April 12. Likewise, the Gupan in Pangasinan has also posted zero active coronavirus cases in the city on Friday. The city's four infected patients have been cleared on Thursday. And the U.S. Embassy is again partnering with Philippine Airlines to offer dedicated flights from parts of the Philippines to Los Angeles and San Francisco, California to bring home stranded American citizens. Interested travelers are advised to contact PAL for more details. The special flights will begin on May 21st. For more updates, follow News 5, the Philippine Star and Business World Online. I'm Jess De Los Santos. We are One News.